Hey guys, it's Eli Knight with Funker Martial Arts. I'm back again with another Jiu Jitsu technique. I hope you enjoy this one as much too. So let's check this out. Another headlock technique here. Josh got me in this headlock. I managed to keep my posture though. If he breaks my posture, it's a different story. If he's punched me, it's a different story, but he's locked up trying to break my posture. A good key to help keep my posture up is my hips. That's what it's about. Pushing my hips forward helps me to keep my posture. So a good quick release turnaround for this technique here is this. Watch, one, two. The guillotine choke beats the headlock any day. So here's how I reverse it. When he gets here, again, hips forward, posture stays up. I reach here. Again, this can be kind of nasty or it can be not so nasty. We don't do the not so nasty uh, live, but whenever we're training, we went through not so nasty. So I get here under the chin when we're training. I kind of frame the neck. This hand here, back of my hand to the middle of his back, and then I'm gonna walk this way as I turn the steering wheel. This way, once I get around here, Look, now I've got the guillotine choke in place. I grab my wrist close to the blade of my hand, push my hips forward, shoulders forward, and pull up like this. Elbow pointed, good detail. One more time. When he's here, I can frame here under the neck. I can grab the face. I can grab the lip, the nose, the eyes. What's the situation, right? We're training right now, I'm gonna go here. This hand here, under his back, turn the steering wheel, walk to the left. Got it. Okay. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching Funker Martial Arts channel. Uh, check out this technique. Try it. Be careful whenever you're training this stuff, guys. Thanks a lot.